So you've heard of hydrogen therapy and learned about all the awesome benefits it can provide. Maybe you watched some of the many benefit videos we've posted and now you're convinced. This hydrogen sounds amazing and I have to try it. So you go and look for the right hydrogen product for you and stumped. I have to admit the hydrogen marketplace can be confusing. So in this episode, I'm gonna break down the top five things to look for when searching for a hydrogen product. Here we go. So I get a ton of questions about hydrogen. Probably about half the questions I get are about HU products or what to buy. The hydrogen marketplace is relatively new, so there are still a lot of misconceptions or flat out false information out there. The demand for hydrogen water products was basically birthed from the water ionizer market, which has a more well-established consumer base and market. But we all know the various problems with that. And if you don't know, I've already provided a series for you to learn about the truth about water ionizer. So the hydrogen therapy market is difficult to navigate, but I've had the privilege of experience. And today I want to use that experience to teach you what's most important when buying a hydrogen product. But before we get there, I want to take a second to shout out our Patreon supporters. We are so blessed to have people who see the education about hydrogen as a priority and have chosen to support it. If you too see the need for more hydrogen education, you can become a patron too and see your name on the screen. So back to the topic at hand. I have more than eight years of experience in the hydrogen industry and with hydrogen products. I've tested at least 80 various hydrogen products and have been exposed to many more. I also have established relationships with engineers and scientists worldwide who study or research hydrogen. And I've had many discussions with them over the years about issue products and what is necessary to be a quality issue product. I have condensed all my experience and expertise about HU products into five important things to look for. Number one, that's enough. The number one quality of a hydrogen product is that it produces enough H2 to provide therapeutic levels. Just like anything else you take, the dose matters. You wouldn't expect aspirin to work as it's supposed to if you did not take enough of it. The same logic applies to hydrogen. Think about what it would be like to spend a lot of money on a hydrogen product with the hopes of health benefits, just to never receive any because you weren't ingesting enough H2. It is a huge deal and many people are fallen prey to this, which is unfortunate. Therefore, you want to make sure you're able to get enough H2 in a convenient, practical, and reasonable way. Sure, if you have a low concentration of H2 in water, you could just drink more of it to try to hit a certain dose, but it might not be practical. Drinking one gallon or more of H2 water a day is not practical or sustainable. It also won't work to breathe hydrogen gas at low concentrations for longer periods of time. It's important to know how much you need and to make sure your product provides that. And of course, to do that, you'll need to know what type of HU product it is and what it provides. A good hydrogen product or company will tell you how much hydrogen their product provides. And you would hope that you could trust that, but that's not always the case. I have some resources to help with this. First, these videos will help you know what are good HU levels to shoot for and how to test for them. Also, I have this page on my website, which will help you calculate how much hydrogen you need to consume with the product you have. Number two, Sure thing. Not only should you confirm that the product provides enough H2, but you should also confirm that the levels of H2 will be consistent and reliable. This is usually important when talking about the method in which the hydrogen gas is being produced. For example, water ionizers are heavily contingent on source water conditions for producing hydrogen gas. The same ionizer at one location can produce decent levels of H2, while producing little to no dissolved H2 at another location. One of my criteria for testing is that the product is able to produce H2 regardless of the source water conditions. Some H2 water products are heavily contingent on maintenance to be able to produce and dissolve H2, which also can be unreliable. Again, more about that in these videos. Another example is some magnesium-based products will oxidize or passivate and will only produce H2 for a short time frame. Also, some H2 water bottles have to be run five times before enough H2 will be dissolved into the bottle. You want to be confident in your H2 levels and not need to test very often just to make sure. Number three, fine print. You want to be able to look at the specs to know how the product works and that it's an adequate product. You should be able to see how they're making the H2, whether it's a PEM, ionizer, magnesium base, etc. 
You should also see the concentration of H2 for hydrogen water, which will say ppm or milligrams per liter, or the H2 concentration and flow rate of a hydrogen inhalation system, which will say milliliter per minute. In the gas mixture, 99% H2, 66% H2, 4% H2, etc. Also, the device's electrical power should correlate with its H2 output or production. You don't have to know how to calculate it, but there are some general guidelines. Small electrical power with large volumes of H2 should provoke some questions or concerns. So the company should be able to tell you how they are achieving their H2 levels or outputs. And of course, things like warranty service and ratings are important to look at as well. Many times, if it seems too good to be true, it just might be. Number four, know your stuff. This point is more focused on a company's knowledge or marketing of hydrogen. Not every company will have all the correct information because not a lot of people in general have all the correct information about H2. But you can tell a lot about a product based on how the company talks about H2. Pay attention if hydrogen is only a piece of their puzzle. I'll tell you this, hydrogen is good enough on its own. So if they're marketing hydrogen plus several other things, it's time to start asking why. There could be multiple reasons for this. Some products legitimately have more than one therapeutic agent. There are H2 plus nitric oxide products and the magnesium and hydrogen tablets also have health benefits. It is also possible that it can point to a lack of knowledge, like when a product touts its ORP levels. We have a video here to explain that ORP is an irrelevant and misleading detail when discussing hydrogen water, or when a water product emphasizes its high pH, or hydroxide, OH minus, the alkaline component of water that gives water its high pH is an antioxidant just like H2. And we have many videos busting these myths as well. Or maybe they say their water is microclustered or structured or has frequencies. Do you see what I mean by a lot of misconceptions out there? I'm convinced many people will say anything to sell their H2 products. It can point to their attempt to put themselves above the competition. Like claiming the hydrogen from their product is better and gets into your body better. Look. Hydrogen gas is hydrogen gas. As long as it's dissolved into the water and enough of it's consumed, it has the same potential as any other product. Like I said in point one, it is the amount of H2 in milligrams that is the difference maker. Or it can point to their product not being efficient at producing hydrogen. Hydrogen should be the point, not the afterthought. I've seen products that existed before the hydrogen wave with marketed benefits that did not include hydrogen. And then hydrogen turned out to become popular and now is listed as a hydrogen water product. But nothing about the product changed at all. Products that are not specifically designed for hydrogen gas will not be as efficient as those that are specifically designed for it. So many companies cannot bank on promoting hydrogen solely because they know there are products for hydrogen that are better out there. So they need to make it look like you're getting more than hydrogen. Remember, these are my opinions based on a whole lot of experience and a ton of objective third party testing. But the most important thing to take away is to pay attention to how these companies are talking about hydrogen. Number five third party. So this one is not necessarily required, but I cannot stress enough of how helpful this one can be. Specifically, if the third party testing company is credible and trustworthy. What this means is that the H2 product has been thoroughly tested against scientific standards by an organization that is not selling the product. There aren't a significant amount of credible people that really know their stuff about hydrogen. So if someone does know and knows how to test and verify hydrogen products, against performance standards, approving products that meet the standards, then I would definitely want those H2 products over the ones only the companies or distributors are talking about. Companies will always tout their own products. Therefore, legitimate third-party verification will increase the company's reputation and the product's legitimacy. There are a few credible third-party hydrogen organizations that you can look at. IHSA is the International Hydrogen Standards Association. They are the organization that creates the standards for hydrogen water products and is run by hydrogen scientists and researchers. H2 Analytics is an approved laboratory and testing organization for IHSA and uses gas chromatography for their H2 testing and certification program. 
And then there is H2Hub, which is my company where I test and evaluate hydrogen products and provide my recommendations based on that testing. We don't sell any hydrogen products directly, but I test many products to see if they surpass performance standards that correlate with human scientific research. Hydrogen levels is the number one focus, but I also look at things like safety, build quality, etc. We don't approve every product that I test, but the ones we do are listed on my website. You can learn all about them there. And I even made videos for most of them on my Issue Hub YouTube channel. Most of them have discounts as well that you can receive by finding the product through us. We do this as a service due to the complicated nature of the hydrogen market and to provide a remedy to the problem. We started out strictly educating about hydrogen but realize that the information about hydrogen leads people to want to try it. And by that point, they are off to be confused again by all the different products and claims. I can't tell you the number of people that have come to me after buying an issue product that didn't do what they were told it would do. The hydrogen market is the wild, wild west, so it's very important to verify claims. Also, be leery of promoters who promote only one product and bash all other products. If anyone says out of the entire hydrogen product market, hundreds upon hundreds of products that there is only one good, I would be highly skeptical. The truth is there is room in the market for all good products. We don't have to go to war with each other. Hydrogen is too special to be tainted by false claims and terrible information. So if you are part of a company or sell hydrogen products, take note, learn about hydrogen, tell the truth, and use accurate information. Make sure your product is producing enough hydrogen to provide health benefits. When you do right by your customers, you do right by the market as a whole, and you do right by hydrogen and maintain the integrity of the industry. So that's it for my five things to look for in a hydrogen product. So if you're looking for a hydrogen product or have questions about one, I'm always available to answer your questions. Helping people navigate the hydrogen market is one reason of why I do what I do. Be sure to share this video around with your friends so they can know what to look for too. Subscribe to this channel and like this video. We have lots of other hydrogen videos, so take a look around the channel. And that was your good looking dose of H2 in minutes.